Am I really this old? Am I, am I this old at 21 that these children who are like literally 16 in real life look like they're five to me? Hello, howdy, how are you? Nope, we're, we're not doing that. What's up everybody? We're doing something different today. I've just realized that I never opened these curtains and it looks super cute when I do. Although the windows are very dirty. I've recently been feeling very nostalgic for childlike childhood memories. So I was going through my TBR and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to read next because originally I wanted to fin finish <laughs> originally I wanted to finish the Shipper series um, by Maggie Stiefvater and I still do. Um, I enjoy rereading it and I definitely haven't finished the last one and I might go back to it but I was feeling the need for reading something else. So I'm going back to nostalgia purposes. Today's vlog is filled with nostalgia as I'm rereading the same copy I used in middle school of Stargirl. Uh, the reason this is different is that not only do I not really do reading vlogs, but I want to get into them. And more so, I want to mix in reading the book and then watching the new movie that came out on Disney Plus. So I'm gonna be watching that and I haven't seen it yet but I'm going to be taking notes on both and then making a, another video comparing the two. So that's what we're doing today. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon, but I'm gonna go make a coffee. I'm sorry if you can hear my laundry in the background, but that's unavoidable. I'm gonna grab a coffee and grab my reading glasses, my iPad to take notes on and get to reading. <sighs> okay, I've got my glasses, which are dirty my very watered down coffee, but it's coffee. The book and my notebook and we're gonna get reading. how to feel. Okay. I wrote so many notes. I was just going back and forth writing notes. I think what I hate about this is that I've read this previously and it's not my first time experiencing it. And this is probably my third time reading it, but I think I read it twice in middle school. And the fact that it's not my first time reading it is I knew what was gonna happen and yet it still affected me in a very similar way but reading it so many years later, I don't know how I want to feel about the book. It has so many good metaphors and points that could be applicable today and to how people are, but I don't know. I need to collect my thoughts for the video that's gonna go with this, but now I'm moving on to the movie. So I'm gonna start that. I think I'm actually, it's about five o'clock. I think I'm gonna pause cook some dinner or get some food of some sort and then go and start the movie.
enjoy that ASMR. Are you annoyed yet? I am. Okay, I've got my dinner, a drink, I've got my movie pulled up, and now I'm gonna see how it compares to the book. I'm afraid they didn't do as well. Not, not to say that because it's like a Disney production, but like, I don't know. I'm afraid they didn't do it justice the way it should have been with the book. And I hope that's not the case. I hope they actually put a lot of the better scenes in because this is a book that really does need important scenes to convey the messaging well. But I'm, oh, they added Artemis Fowl. I have not read that yet, but I do want to. I might watch the movie first though, so maybe I'll do that after. I'm gonna avoid taking notes so that I can really digest it and not have to worry about going back and forth, but I'm gonna start that. You guys are gonna be on a time lapse and I'm sorry in advance because I'm gonna be eating. So let's get to it. I'm literally a minute and 35 seconds in and it's already up. Like it's already different. Entirely. Leo was never in the band. The school wasn't named the Mud Frogs, or their team wasn't. Like I guess his character looks okay. I assumed he was a little bit more like classy looking. And he I'm I'm pissed at the whole band thing. This also wasn't the first time he's seen her. I'm already pissed off, but I'm still gonna watch it in full. This is... I should have done a movie commentary on this, honestly, but... If that's something you guys are interested in, maybe I'll do it, but this is... Nah, I'm pissed. I'm already pissed. I'm so glad I did this, but I so regret doing this. It was nice to sit here and do something for a change that was cathartic and actually a project, but... <sighs> mm. Nothing about this movie was the same as the book. Like, I can't. This is beyond irritating. And I get it, at that point, you want to keep it entirely different so that you don't have to copy the book, like, word for word. But at the same time, a lot of the readers who grow up on material like this or just have read material and they want to see it made into a digital format, we want you to take your own spin on it. But, good lord, make it the same story. This isn't even the same story. This is a crappy middle school romance because the am I really this old am, am I this old at 21 that these children who are like literally 16 in real life look like they're five to me or am I just like bred on this culture that all 20 year olds play 17 year olds because she's supposed to be like a 10th grader and l is literally her age which would have been fine had literally all the other kids looked appropriately aged. Like, are all the kids nowadays just literally this young looking? Like, am I that old and I'm not around kids anymore that I'm just like, this is what they look like now? 
because to me it's freaking weird like these are not high schoolers these are not juniors and seniors graduating these are middle school beginning of high school year children I don't know I <sighs> this is gonna be a fun video for me to do and I'm almost debating doing it now but that requires cleaning up my office and honestly, I need to collect my thoughts. So it might be that I'm filming this tomorrow. And I'm just, it, all right. When this comes out, it will be the following Monday that this commentary and debate of whether one is better than the other will come out. It will be the next Monday. So I don't know what day that is, but this is my vlog for Friday that I'm doing because I, I, I'm so emotionally drained from all of this. I don't even want to do another vlog at this point. This was just for fun. And now I'm just pissed off. Like this literally made me to feel two emotions, anger and this weird feeling that we always get when we watch coming of age things like, oh, maybe I regret a little bit of high school. That's it. It's not even the same story. Like none of it. It had the same character names, the rat, the porcupine neckties, which should have been only one. And the fact that the dance was held at the golf course. That was pretty much the only thing that remained stagnant. Okay. Okay. I'm going to divulge into a very needed debate with myself in the next video. So if you're watching this, it's Friday. The video that will be with this will be appearing the Monday after this vlog goes up. So, cool. I'm going to go. I don't know how to feel about all that. I just, that was just n no bueno. Like, I get it. It's meant to be a kid's movie. But you can make kid's movies with some edgier content, Disney. Like, we grew up on it. It's what we want to see. <laughs> I'm going to close out the vlog here and save the rest of my comments for Monday's discussion. So. I will see you guys then. Toodles.